I'll zoom out just a little bit more. And it says, you were hacked with some skulls at the top of it. So I'm thinking that's the answer to the question. Hey, hello world. Welcome to my channel, Dante's Derivatives. Today I wanna to show you guys some cybersecurity and specifically I wanna show you guys some beginner malware analysis. And to do that, I'm gonna take you guys to Blue Team Labs Online. It's an awesome platform to practice your Blue Team cybersecurity skills. We're gonna look at their ransomware script challenge. It's an easy malware analysis challenge and I'm really eager, so let's get right into it. But before we do, I wanna thank all of you, everyone that's subscribed. We have over 300 subscribers that are learning with us every video. Thank you guys so much and hit that subscribe button if you wanna learn with us. Let's get right into the malware analysis. All right, so let's get going. We're on Blue Team Labs Online and we're gonna take their free and easy malware analysis ransomware script challenge. Let's read the scenario. One of our web servers recently got compromised and was hit with ransomware. Luckily, we had a restore point just before the files were encrypted and managed to recover a suspicious script file that didn't appear to have been run yet. So let's analyze that suspicious script file. And to do that, we're going to download it. So I'll copy the link, the ransomware script.txt, that that's what it's called. So we'll take that link to our Kali Linux system and I already have a directory here, malware analysis, ransomware script. I'm just gonna wget that link from Blue Team Labs Online. And nice, it was successful in getting the zip file. Nice, so here is our recovered script file text. So let me clear the screen. And we're going to, I actually want to remove everything that we don't need in here. So remove the first zip and the recovered that zip. And now we only have the data that we're going to be analyzing. So let's clear the screen. All right, now that we have our script, let's go back to Blue Team Labs Online and see what the first question is. What is the malicious IP address referenced multiple times in the script? So let's go ahead and look at the script so we can answer that question. So I'm gonna nano the recovered script file.txt. I'll hit enter, and this is the script. So we'll scroll down a little bit. Looks like uh, there's some passwords, some ID messages, uh, the message URL, send message, chat. There's a token there. Oh, look, api.telegram.org slash bot. Okay, so. Yeah, let's let's um scroll down because I'm sure that the IP is referenced in here multiple times, like it said. So there's an IP there. So I'm not certain that this is the only IP address in this file. So what I'm going to do is open another tab. So I'm in another tab here, and I'm going to go ahead and use this long and complicated grept command here. I'm going to grep for this and use this reg regex command, and it's going to look for IP addresses inside of our script. And it's going to sort them and only look for unique values. So there won't be any repeats. So it looks like there's only one IP address in this script, and it's referenced five times. So now I can actually answer that first question. What is the malicious IP address referenced multiple times in the script? That is 185.141.25168. And we'll hit enter, submit. Hey, nice. Blue flag, blue flag on the screen. We did it. So, all right. Question number two. The script uses apt-get to retrieve two tools and uses yum to install them. What is the command line to remove the yum logs afterwards? So to answer that, we'll go back into Kali, and I exited out of the Nano off screen. Um, what I'm gonna do is actually clear the screen here, and I wanna cat that file instead. So I'll cat it, and now we can actually control our scroll bar here a little bit better. But I'm gonna try and cat, what did it say? It said that this script uses app slash get. 
Um, and then use this yum to install. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just use the control find on our screen here. And I'm just gonna look for a yum. Okay. apt dash get install open SSL dash dash yes. I think this is what we're looking for here. Yum installed open SSL dash Y and remove dash RF ver dash log dash yum. So I'm thinking, yeah, see, look, this is the same command. It actually, this is the command to remove the two tools. So we'll copy. Remove dash RF ver log yum. Hey, nice. Correct. We did it. So let's scroll down to the next question. A message is created in the file dash Etsy dash MOTD. MOTD. There we go. Jeez. What are the first three words? Okay, so a message was created in the file. So let's go back in here. And I'm just going to actually use the find functionality again, slash etsy slash MOTD. So I used the find functionality and search for Etsy MOTD, and I found the spot where they created the message. But the only problem is it's hard to actually see what this says. There's an actual picture here with some text. Even if you actually zoom out on this cat, this, uh, this file, you can't see what it says. So I fixed that by going into, if you nano the file and you go to where they create the message, and I'll actually zoom out here, but I'm going to scroll down. So there's the skull and bones. So yeah, you can see there's actual text here now. So I'll scroll, I'll zoom out just a little bit more. And it says, you were hacked with some skulls at the top of it. So I'm thinking that's the answer to the question. We'll go back to... Blue Team Labs Online, a message is created in the file Etsy MOTD. And what are the first three words? So I think it's you were hacked. Hey, nice. Okay, cool. So we're getting good at this malware analysis. Let's keep going. This message also contains a contact email address to have the system fixed. What is it? So, okay, so let me scroll in so you guys can see this. And so contact us, let me make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Contact us on mail, national cnsa at protonmail.com. So I'll copy the email address. We'll take it back to Blue Team Labs Online. Hey, another, another question answered correctly. Cool. So when files are encrypted, an unusual file extension is used. What is it? So this one, we actually have to do a little bit more analysis. Let's go back into the file again. So when files are encrypted, so automatically I see encrypt grep files. So for ID, so we'll, we'll look through the code for this encryption here. And I want to see if it shows us if there's like any extension that it adds. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to try and make this smaller. So maybe it's just a little too big. Hmm. All right. I want to see the ends of these lines. What is this? I think we found it. There's like a little dot with a caution sign here. I'll copy that. But let's go down to the next encrypt ones just to make sure, see if they all have that. So I want to see this grep line here. I'll hit end. Yeah, okay, so they all have this dot caution. So that's the, the odd extension that they're using. 
So I'll submit that. Nice. We're, we're doing really good, you guys. This is awesome. Two more questions. These, there are five functions associated with the encryption process that start with encrypt. What are they? I'll say, well, we saw two of these already. Uh, what are they in the order they're actually encrypt, executed in the script? Do not include this. Okay, so let's go back. So we'll, function one, function two, there's five of them. So encrypt, let's go up. We'll scroll up in our, our nano here. So encrypt grep files, encrypt home, encrypt root, encrypt the database, and encrypt SSH. So, all right, and if we scroll down even further, we can see the order that these are used in our ransomware script. So encrypt SSH, encrypt grep files, encrypt home, encrypt root, and then encrypt database. So SSH, grep files, home, root, database. So the order is encrypt, SSH, encrypt, grep files, encrypt, home, encrypt, root, and lastly, encrypt, database. Is that correct? Hey, nice. We did it. Blue flag on the screen. So the final question, and I'm going to move my face real fast. So. The script will check a text file hosted on the CT server. What is the full URL of this file? So it's going to check a text file, so file.txt. All right, so I'm back in Kali, and I catted the script again. And now I'm just going to control find. And we're going to try and find uh, the .txt file. So I'll just search for .txt, and we'll kind of just scroll through here. So wget http check attack, so zero dot text. So if this variable equals zero, then create user, user change. So yeah, okay, so it's checking for this zero dot text. And then it looks like it executes the file encryptions. So I'm going to get this entire URL here copy link address, and we'll take it back to Blue Team Labs Online. We'll paste it in there. We'll hit submit. Hey, nice. We finished the room. Awesome. Congratulations, you completed malware analysis ransomware script. We got to learn a little bit um, about what ransomware might look like in a script. We got to analyze it a little bit. Um, we may not understand exactly what it's doing from the, from the source code, but, you know, we can understand some URLs. We can see uh, some email addresses, just, you know, some files that are actually being um, in, are actually being downloaded onto computers. So we just got to analyze this file, and it was a lot of fun. So as always, I want to thank you guys. I want to urge you guys to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, you know, so that way you guys can keep learning with me. We have over 300 subscribers. Smash that like button so you can see more of my videos. And as always, you guys, thank you for learning.